Hi. So we are making an ATC book tonight. I got asked about one the other day and I thought, why not make one? Um, so my name is Emma. I am Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts and I have a website that is emmashappyplace.co.uk. I design paper kits and craft supplies and yes, hello, happy Tuesday. Is everybody all right? Am I here? I think I'm here. Yep. Hello, hello. So I am on Facebook as well. Um, if you are on Facebook and YouTube, if you hit the like button and the share, that would be awesome. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to find my other device for Facebook. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sue. So ATC book tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a simple one, to be honest. Um, I thought, well, hmm. I thought let's not complicate. So I am ready and I do have all my bits cut, but we are going to do some as we go. And I've lost it. Where is Facebook? Hi, Kim. Hi, Diane. Hi, Gemma. Hi, D. Hi. So just bear with, I am coming. Two ticks. <laughs> right, so I am here. I am, I am. So I'll prop that up somewhere as well. I can see the comments in the top of the phone, just not all of them. Like, obviously, if I look down, it disappears. But anyway, right. So to start off with, I have three bits of card. Two four and a half inch by three and a half inch. And one which is going to be the spine which is going to go this side, so it's going to be a long one, at three and a quarter by four and a quarter, first bits, another half a quarter, and three and a quarter by 1.5. This, you can make any size at all that you want. You can extend it or have it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever you like. The next bit is some cord, which is three inches in width so it's a little bit smaller than that i'm using 120 gsm black paper and then obviously we'll need some of your emma's happy place paper kits so for the paper kits i'm just going to run through it oops daisy um popping these skirts so what i do is i take two bits of backing paper bigger than the actual front and the back spine and then I cover those first so we do already have that glued down here so two like that and I've glued it down it is bigger it doesn't have to be loads bigger no problem at all Sue I do what it is I could do with somewhere to keep them anyway and then on the front and the back cover I just cut off leaving a little bit here just so it's nice and neat and tidy on the corners it doesn't have to be inches and inches and inches big all the way around. I use a wet glue for this as well. And all I'm doing is folding the edges over and gluing. I like a wet glue because then it's stuck, stuck. Tapes and things, they're very good. They're very handy. But I do find that they can come unstuck. It's just me though. Oh, that's fab. There's loads of different tutorials out there. This is just how I would do it. <laughs> loads and loads. And people have sort of taken snippets of loads of other tutorials that they've watched and made up their own. Um, basically, once you know how to do one, it's a hop, skip and a jump to the rest of them. And round all the edges, covering it over so it's nice and pretty. These bits here, I am sort of pushing in a little bit just to keep them nice and neat and tidy it doesn't have to be totally pushed in but just it just tucks it all in stops any little bits from peeping out and it keeps it all all tucked in 
I knew what you meant. So, hi, Maureen. Oh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up and the share button, that would be fabulous. Build it up. And then afterwards, the lives come back and comment as well. It always helps. I mean, we're getting there. We're on to 707 now. It's still slow going. You can use collar, you can use whatever you like. I like um, an acrylic glue. I like the Cosmic Shimmer glue. Um, I like the Stamps Away acrylic glue. I like an acrylic glue because it just sticks it. The collar, <sighs> again, it's a bit like Mod Podge, love hate. So I've got the front and the back done and covered. Now the spine. The spine, I want these two bits longer. So what I've done is I've gotten a bit of cord, not quite this long, I've cut some off, but it needs to be bigger than three and a quarter. So I'd probably say four, four inches for the top and the bottom, and then maybe it's an inch and a half each way at the sides. And then I've popped it on like this. And again, just cut the edges and I've popped the top and the bottom on. Then I'm going to score these up. This is not my idea. There's an American lady who does this. And... It's just like how like real books are made. And we're gonna have it that way and that way. And these bits here are going to attach there and there. And that way when you're closing your book, if you cover the whole back, what I find is sometimes that can get a bit tight. So when you close the book, it can tear the paper, no matter how good quality the paper is, it can tear it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these flaps under each side. And that way, you know, it's sort of, it'll lie totally flat and they're not going to tear. So I've seen another lady doing this as well. So matching them up, topping the bottom together and then popping them down. Like that, and just squidge all the glue out. How has everybody's week been? Mine, I thought it was going to be productive, but you know, you know, you know. Hi, Anne. Uh, if you just two seconds. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. So I am on Facebook and I am on YouTube as well. So turn it around. I'm going to do the same with this side for the book. Again, this does stop the cracking of the card if you pull it too tight. And I do much prefer it this way. And if you've watched any bookmaking videos, this is often how like real bookmakers do it. Booksmiths, I think they're called. And there we go. The workshop went well. Um, I wasn't sure how many people would be interested, but we've got a few in, and it, they turned out lovely. Let's say it's a, a hard one because, like I say, the last workshop I did on YouTube, the videos are there, but still seen on my end that it's not uploaded. But I dare not touch it because I ca you can view them via the link. And that is the book and I mean look how neat and tidy that is so much better now what I would do is you can get fabric tape and things to put over here to make it even stronger I'm going to take a black masking tape which is covered in fluff at the sides get some of that off and this will reinforce the paper so it doesn't tear as well so all I'm going to do is not quite at the top and pop it on and you can get some like white fabric tapes and things obviously mine's safe there we go but a masking tape should hold it pretty good hi sheila sheila 
the wings, I am going to go to the post office tomorrow. I was meant to go today, but, you know, life. I'll be there first thing in the morning, though. Promise. I thought they would pick them up today, but they didn't turn up, so I'll take them to the post office tomorrow. And then by the time I realised they weren't coming, it was too late to get there. So, and that is that. And then all I would do is cover each section. And for that, I'm going to take one of Emma's Happy Place papers, the paper kit, the new paper kit, and cut. Oh, that's that gone. Got it. Right, so I'm going to use this one because it's kind of in keeping with the... Oh, we've gone dark. <laughs> Blackout. Hi, Val. So I'm going to trim this down. <laughs> Me lights on a uh, wiggly... Oh, thank you. I knew you'd understand. Right, so you know how unreliable everybody seems to be around here. Post offices, buses. The buses are back, though. The buses voted to come back off strike. So that's good. Yeah, all right. You can watch the start of it back and once we're done, it's there forever and ever. Unless YouTube decides to do anything or whatever, you know. All right. So for this... I'm going to pop that to one side, and this is how I measure. So I want it to cover it all. Oh. You can measure it if you want to, but all I'm going to do is make a little nick there, and then it will all be the same all the way down. And pop that to one side for later and then this one there and there so that's both sides there and there and then we can do the middle so it nails are great for leaving little notches but this could be why i never seem to have everything totally perfect you know measure if you want I've measured the rest, though. I have measured the book just for simplicity on that. So that's the front and the back cover. And then I know the middle is one and a half. So I'm just going to take it in a little bit smaller than one and a half. And I can always trim it down. Now, nah, it's perfect. So instead of one and a half, I did it one and an eighth. And then that will go there. And that will go there. And if you did the tape white then it would look totally different but i am going to cover them with something else you want to watch back from the beginning it's it's easy enough to do isn't it it's easy peasy now you can hang around the edges if you want i'm not going to because i'm thinking i might want to cover it with lace and things so i might not need to hi katrina oh. and then we're going to make a spine to attach our little pockets too for the ATCs so this bit here we'll go there this here now you can do this next bit with a ruler and just a like a pen that's out of ink just to score it I do have a scoreboard check me out for the first time in my life i'm actually going to use the scoreboard properly so i have put the glue in this bottle for when i'm gluing a little bit because i tend to waste so much glue by spilling it and i found this little bottle stops it but there is our nice neat spine our little book and it's pretty much totally perfect and it hasn't taken long to do and this spine honestly is so easy so the next bit is taking your three inch width bit of card and a scoreboard there it is 
<laughs> is this going too smooth? I think it's going too smooth. What's going to go wrong? Now, so this is three inches in width. And what I'm going to do is, if I was making a bigger book, I would do it every half an inch. Um, I'm just going to do it every quarter of an inch. So, one, two, keeping it nice and still, because this is where I slip up usually. And I just keep going until I think I've got enough, because I can always trim it down after. Two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three, three and a quarter. And just keep going like that, right? This next bit is unbelievably easy. And this spine is one of the ones I tend to use all the time. There's two I tend to use all the time, but this one is just uber easy. So what you do is score them all one way. And you can do it with your bone folder if you want. And just keep going. And then fold them all the other way. You can pop it down on the desk if you want and score it. And this is just every quarter of an inch. You can do it at half an inch if you want. Um, so it'd be like half an inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch for the middle bit, and you'll see why in a minute. But I just keep it all the same, just just because it's easier, and then it doesn't matter if it goes wrong. And then your first one you leave, so this one you're leaving, the next two push together. So this one is a valley, and then the next two are the mountains inside, like that. And then you glue those two together. You, you can use a strong tape for this, but again, I still tend to go for glue just because, and then I know it's stuck. So hold it for a second. Oh, no problem, Katrina. Enjoy. I love a surprise play. <laughs> I say I love a surprise visitor. Yeah. Depends who it is. And then the next one, you leave it. And then again, so you're missing a one, push those two together, and then again, like that. And you'll see, as soon as I turn around what we're doing, uh, push those two together. So between every two, hi Julie, that you glue together, you leave a little space in between, and that is going to be the space. So if you've um, your book doesn't end up like, massive alligator mouth i do like them really chunky i really really do lots of people don't but i do you can always make the spine bigger if you want but there you can see there so you've got one flat two together one flat two together then you're leaving the next one so this one and popping these two together and you just fold it back and that way and see and then pop them together have i done that right yeah that's right so then again you can see and you don't want to do it any bigger than your actual spine so on this one i've got one two three four five and have five of these which will put in 10 atcs and then And then squish them down with your bone folder or whatever. And I'll quickly do another couple. So leaving that one, putting them two together. And it gets easier as you go. As long as you leave them one, put two together, leave one, put two together. Am I making sense? Or you can just build it up in the layers where you've got sort of a bit of card and you score half an inch at each side, then a smaller bit of card and then you score and then they go like Russian dolls into each other. 
which I think I've done a video on that in the past. Right, I'll stop there with the four. Then you score, cut on one of the score lines, and that leaves the bit at the end. You can always cut that score line smaller if you want. And then I put them all flat. And this is where I tend to, I do use red tape because you can put glue over the top, but this will initially give it the good stick to the very end. So all I do on the back is red tape. Red tape. And you can score it again. Score it, push it down, and then put them back the other way. So all your little flaps, and then do it again. And the red tape kind of holds it and makes it really, really firm. And they should all stand up and be like that. Sense? And then all I would do is chop the corners off. And this is just for when you're putting your pages in or your little tabs or whatever. Just like that. And then that will sit inside of there and be the perfect sort of spine to attach everything to. So we'll do that. So I've got red liner on this one already. Oh, hold on. I'll have to come away from the camera for this bit. You know what tape's like and me. I can never get tape off. Glue doesn't stick and tape, the backs don't come off tapes when I'm on camera. It's insane. And then, come on. Don't do this to me. It's painful watching, isn't it? There we go. Ah, it didn't even come off. Oh, my life. There we go. Two. Last one. I'll put it under. Ah! There's all the glue off my thumb. Stuck to it now. So it's definitely not sticky anymore. There we go. And then... <laughs> take all of that and add some wet glue as well. Just mainly, mostly to the top. And the bottom, like the corners. Where you need it to stick more. And then this goes into the middle. Trying to leave a little bit each end, straight as you can. That'll do. That's where it's staying. That's where it landed. And there we go. We have the little flaps. Now, for this particular book, obviously you can do it any sort of size that you want. I have cut some bits of paper in... Three and a half by five. Is that five? A little bit less than five. Five. So the three and a half will fit in that way. They. Is that what I've done? No, the five is that way. So it's three and a half lengthways, but that's too big. So I need to take that down to... Three and a quarter. Three and one eighth. That's it. Not a half. So three and one eighth by five is what I was aiming for. But And the one eighth will allow for to fit onto the little flaps that we've just done. So three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. Right, so I've got these. And then, because it is too high up like that, I've left it so we can turn up about an inch and a half. So bringing the scoreboard back. Oh, again with that light. 
I'm determined that is all I'm going to see. So, there we go. Whoa. How do people demo and keep everything neat and tidy? So, I'm going to go for... So, it's five, four, three and a half, I think. What's that? No, for three and three quarters, I'm going to score them all out. Three and three quarters. Come on, Emmy, use your brain. So it's five and three and three quarters. So along this way, three and three quarters. There. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. And I really hope I've left them wide enough to fit the ATCs in. Just think I have because. The two and a half wide, aren't they? So on each one, fold it up. And now this is where you can decorate this part if you want to. And add in a layer of backing paper. So just make, take it a little bit smaller and matting and layering it in. And then you can have... Uh, you can take as far up as you want because obviously we've got the pocket so you don't need it to be as wide. And then I'm going to glue up the two sides here for this pocket. You can round any corners off that you want to do if you want to. Give them fancy corners. It's up to you. Like that. And then to attach, now this is where you can do whatever you want. You can use glue, you can use tape, whatever you fancy. I would stick with glue. I can guarantee it is not going to stick now on the live. I don't know why it doesn't do us, but glue doesn't stick. And then all I'm going to do is come see is I'm going to place it so it's the same length as the binding we've just done there, put it that way and then pull it down and that will stick there but what you can do is stick another one to the back but in fact I will do it I will I will we'll do a couple and then I can add the rest in later can't I Whoop. Oh, another one in there. And move up the sides again. If any fancy corners you've got, any corner rounders, go for it. Make it as fancy as you want. Uh, why is that not straight? I swear my trimming wasn't cut in a straight line. And then this one on the back. Along here. But I'm not going to glue them totally together. Because you can use it as a pocket in between. So I'd lift this one up. Pop that one so it's coming back over. And then glue it together. And you get it much more even. And it turns without... Um, the book pages will turn without sort of sticking so when you're putting the binding in glue it so it comes that way and then you can glue up the sides you could do this first if you want i just wanted to make sure that the binding was neat like that so you could have done this the other way around and had the pattern paper on the outside without the mat and layer and this is just an afterthought now I've started it now you've got another pocket to fit another ATC in now is the moment of truth whoa <laughs> so all my ATCs I've been collecting I've got my Christmas ones here they should fit in there no problem at all and it keeps them safe and then I don't want to glue it in in 
So each one of these will be the same. So you, you'll be able to get 15 in all in all. And then that one can go in the middle there. All three together. And then you've got them in a little album. Like that. Now, to decorate, take a little bit further. I'll put a fastener in. Where is... There it is. Bear with. I've got this beast of a thing. So I'm just going to... Pop a hole in. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And then I'm going to say about there ish. I eyeball everything. Nothing's ever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yes, my Christmas ones are off, Jean. Just like that. And then taking, I've got the texture pack with all the ribbons and the stories and things in. There is still a couple of these left. I wasn't sure there would be how fast the first ones flew out. So bear with the rattling. Oh, you know what I've got, actually. Where's Ash? I've got pens in here and all sorts in this bag. Right. So some sorry ribbon. And you won't need loads. I've got this one. <laughs> there we go again. It is such a cute little book, isn't it? Has it gone dark or is it just me? And then if you've got your um all your eyelets and things. Let me see. No, we'll go this way. If you've got all your eyelets and things, you can pop them through. But if you haven't, it doesn't matter. Oh. Honestly. There, and then just tie a little knot. You can actually add pockets to the front and the back here as well and pop ATCs in there. So you could have it like that and then take it straight over and just have the fastener come straight through and then pop a button on to hold it or even just tuck that in. But I'm thinking if I pop this through here, like that. I will add all the rest of the pages. I just don't want to keep you for too long. And I want to play with other bits. Like that. So you could leave it like that. If you wanted to. I am going to cut it so I can tie it. And a pretty bow. Yeah, like that. Is that the front? That's right. That's the front and the back. But you can have little dangles coming off here. Now, I have so much stuff all over the place. Where's it gone? There it is. These here. So this dangles kit, I showed it the other week. I think we'll go pink. And is on the website, and it's not a very. I can't change the picture on the front of the website. I do not know why. But you get all these little hearts and things in with it. And make little crystally rondelles, little Swarovski crystal rondelles in there as well. There's loads of stuff up. Oh, there they go. Well, from here, All I would do is to the bulb pin, because you get all different colours, is add the rondelles and then the little heart dangle. And then pop it through your ribbon. Try not to stick myself on the uh, camera, as you can guarantee I will. And that can go there and that can be really, really cute. But then I can bring in my bits to decorate which I have so many here. So I do have, right, the vellums. I got, um, we're going to go off on a complete tangent here. I'm terribly sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but now this I found, and I wasn't sure if anybody would be interested. I can get a few. 
I do know that. Uh, and it is, oh, Emma, it is a stapler that works absolutely brilliant with vellum, but it's not a stapler. Can we see, all right? Is this getting darker and darker? Right. I will show you this quickly. I wasn't going to bring it up because, obviously, I know Christmas is coming. I've brought the new kit out and stuff like that. These will be for after Christmas. I just need to know because they'll not be cheap. I think you're looking at about, I don't know, I'll have to have another look. But they're not like a couple of quid. I'm looking for the vellum. Actually, I'll show you around here. So, chop that down. Right, so I've got the vellum there like that, right? And this thing here, you do need good muscles. What's that? It's not even the right one. Hold on. Bear with, two seconds. That is one of them, which I didn't like. It's white, the one I'm looking for. So I, I do test a lot of stuff. Oh, there it is on the floor. So this one. <laughs> this one, no need to be sorry. You thought, oh, that's good. <laughs> So it goes in here and then it does work on normal paper and you might be able to find them yourself but let us know because it will be after Christmas and then can you hear the click but it holds it together like crimson and it's got it does come apart but it's got quite a nice grip and you see the white on the vellum now if anybody is interested I can get them um in fact I might just do it privately some messages and I'll see if I can get you one but if you find one else way because I can't get them that cheap you might be able to get one on Amazon or something. In fact, I'll have a look because I'd rather you pay less. Maybe it's not very good business sense, but I'll have a look and see if I can find them. Because Amazon buy in massive sizes, so you'll probably be able to get one there cheaper, but it's really, really cool. <laughs> I'll never be rich. Well, I, I have got loads of bits, though, that I've got off case. <laughs> You need one, I know. I'm gonna have a look on Amazon because I can't get them for that cheap. And I'm pretty sure Amazon, you can. You can, I've, I've seen them, in other, obviously how I've seen them in other places. So these are off the Emma's Happy Place kits, right? And there's quite a few different kits that I've cut them off. Um, I am making something else, which I wanna share with you on Thursday. We're gonna make one, a smaller size one. But for this, should I have the little envelope in as well? Should we? Should we do it? Right, so I'm going back to the bag of stuff. I am love. That's good. <laughs> I'm pleased. Right, I do have this on the website as well. This stuff here, I did get for a bargain. And it's on there for a bargain. You can't get it anyway. Like, it's ridiculously expensive. It's chiffon ribbon. And I think you get about three metres. And it's so lovely. And you can stamp on it, you can colour it to whatever colour you want. I think I've got white and off-white, and I think it just depends on which one I pick up. It doesn't matter, though, because they're all lovely. So I'm thinking that there with the dangles. It's going to look It's gonna look very pretty, this. And then I've already coloured these. Like I, said, I don't want to keep it all night. And this is out the colour and create kit. I don't know which one. You'll have to have a look on the website. Yeah, well, I'd rather you get something at a bargain price, honestly, to be honest. Because the point is me getting something and paying through the nose for it, isn't it? And then when you can get a deal, crafting's expensive enough. And to be fair, I'd rather you buy the kit. So, you know, to be totally frank. So if I find them, I'll pop a link up. Jane, I'll pop the link up in here as well if I can find them. I don't know about the envelope. I may pop the envelope inside. But that, I think there, just with it, I think that's pretty, isn't it? Just the three flowers. Should we have a leaf to break up the colour a bit? But it's absolutely, I love it. And you can do paper with it as well. What have I done with it? You can do, what have I done? Whatever it is. You can do paper with it. as well so it goes in here like that and you need to get right at the back it 
doesn't tear be too thick. It's definitely for thinner. Whoops, Daisy. Hold on, let's find a thinner bit of paper. What about this one? I don't know if this is thinner, but at least I'm, I can force it in without. It's not thinner. It's the same paper. But... Now, two seconds. Stay away. Have I got a thinner bit of paper? <laughs> I will find one. Oh, here, actually. This is definitely thinner. Right. So, folding it in half. Yeah, that's definitely thinner. And then just goes down and it crimps it and it holds it. Now, this one here, the pink one, this is the same sort of idea, but you put it in and it does it like that. So that's great if you want it to be have marks, but this one here, it doesn't leave marks. And I have seen those on Amazon. And um, that's where I got this one from. But I'll have a look for the other one and I'll pop a link up. <laughs> um white pen. Oh. I need to get one of my white pens from upstairs. I forget every day out the box. I put them back on the website, I'm going to have to take one out though, because mine I left on the radiator, didn't I? And I'm looking for another white pen, you just have to bear with. There we go. I did, oh Judith, you know the big Posca pen you showed us? I managed to get a white one, you know, for my window. But I've decided I found some snowflake window clings. I'm just going to put them up. It took us hours last year to paint the sitting room window. Okay, adding the highlights in. My pen never works when there's a camera. Oh, there we are. The fight I have with pens, I either wreck them or they just don't work. Like that. Anyway, that is it. We've got our little dangly bit here, which again, they're on the website. You get stacks and stacks of stuff in and I will add the rest of the pages to this to keep all my little ATCs in but yes very happy with that the little gadget is awesome I am going to find a few though because like I say I can't get them at a reasonable price and to be honest I don't think I would pay what I'd have to sell them for I think I'd be a bit like mm. so I'll find them elsewhere for you but the kits the bead kits are on the website the texture kits are on the website the new, um, where all these papers have come from with the girls in, um, Beautiful Nature is on the website. And I'm hoping, all being well, by the end of next week, I might have another kit to pop on. But it might be the end of the week after that. You know, I can't wait. I was going to wait, but I want, I want to play with it. So we will see. But yes check out the website i have got something else coming i'm hoping that will be here by the end of the week as well which i know for a fact you're all going to love because when i used something similar to it yeah, every i got so many messages quizzing where i got it from and i got it ages and ages ago so watch the space for that um have a lovely weekend i will be back i will be back on thursday at 8 p.m and judith how dare you not share the big pens with me show me and thank you so so much i hope it did help i hope it made sense um i love finding the books like this honestly i would use a fabric book binding tape though because it will hold it forever and ever and ever like if you think about bibles and things like that i mean they last forever dictionaries they've all got that in to hold it but with that, I am going to love you and leave you. I am going to look for this now and pop a link up um, in case anybody wants it. And I will, obviously, I'll come back and post it on in the comments under this particular live for the stapler if I find one. The staple, the stapler. Um, in fact, I'll pop the link up for them both and then you can decide which one you want. Lots and lots of love. Have a lovely couple of days. Sheila. I'm going to the post office in the morning, I promise. And I've got the pens. Maureen, I've got yours to go as well. Um, I think that's everything. I think. You might end up with messages because who knows what else I've forgotten. Lots and lots of love. Good night.